Right now, I'm working with uh, one of the great legends, um, music icons, Bonnie Pointer, uh, who founded the Pointer Sisters, and she's coming out with a new project. It's called Like a Picasso. This is reality TV. I just wanted to know the reality TV is reality TV. It's reality TV, okay. and that's what it is. And that's the way you get it. You didn't give me time to put my makeup on. Okay, man. we gotta stop. I'm looking for my lipstick. Is that okay with you? Yes, because you have beautiful lips and you got lips. It looks what I got. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. She has to put. What is it? Oh, you said 31 points. It's an ensemble. Please just put it on. She's got a little bit. Wait, she's putting her lip gloss. No, I need this right now. Hi. She is. And she will. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's going nuts. I'm telling y'all now. Y'all ain't even ready for it. You, you ain't gonna be ready for me. You ain't gonna be ready for me. Oh. I tell you. Hey, look. This is, what, this is underground Wait a cinema. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We have the cutest, flyest, so the most strongest black woman. Like a Picasso, hey, baby. Like a Picasso. Well, his remember brush Jada. strokes. Remember Jada? <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, this is real TV, and I need it right now. This oh. way. Uh, finished uh, a first, actually a whole series called American Gangster, six uh, one-hour documentaries that are going to be on BT. Uh, Frank Palmer was one of the associates that I worked with, one of the filmmakers. He did a great job. He got us uh, some footage that we were really invaluable to the show, and probably we couldn't have gotten from any other source. Has, uh, he's definitely well connected in a show that uh, celebrates uh, characters who are very well connected themselves. Thanks to better know the truth lies in deception surrounding the origin of the entertainment industry and gang violence. Crips and Bloods in America, from clubs to gangs to media monsters now labeled terrorists. Riveting drama. I'm mad at the hip hop. Hip hop is claiming them don't put all the kids lies around here. These problems is damaging the little kid intellectual faculty with all that bullshit. This is a must see DVD, narrated by Glenn Plummer. Come on, 15 years of peace work and we ain't got a dime. Know the truth. Crips and Bloods in Los Angeles, California, from clubs to gangs to media monsters now labeled terrorists. There's been many efforts to curtail this evolution of genocide. But before we get into that, we have to visit a brief history of the beginnings. The reason I'm doing this whole thing right here in this documentary, trying to put this thing together, is because, you know, I met my man Frank. When did I meet you? What's about a year ago, huh? You know, know he had already put this documentary together. I mean, you know, he had this thing all laid out. He knew what he wanted to do with it. He had put together the scenes and everything, and he wanted me to do some narration on it. So I was like, all right, cool. So he showed me a little piece of it. I didn't even need to see the whole thing. I was like, is that what you do? He's like, boom. I was like, all right, let's make it happen. So, you know, he wanted to talk about Raymond Washington, Crips and Bloods, boom, 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 how all that started. And I was explaining it to him. I was like, look, why don't we do this? Why don't we do a comprehensive study on gangs, period? Mm -hmm. Let's go back to how it all started. From the good lows to the boozies to the businessmen to right. the slossers to the gladiators to the spook hunters to the devil hunters, you know what I'm saying? To the one gang he was telling me about, I didn't even know about some riders, yeah, um, right, right. the brims. I mean, all these different mm -hmm. gangs. So, cause you know, I'm feeling like this. I'm like you. The history on this. If most of these gang members knew, you know, the lie they was being told. You know what I'm saying about what gangs were really about coming up, maybe that'll change their mind on the whole thing a little bit. We can enlighten some of them, you know what I'm saying, to see what it's all about, then maybe we can, you know, further this peace movement that y'all doing, you know what I'm saying, and then me too, make peace in my mind and in my heart, because I know for a fact the ramifications of what that movie had, you know what I'm saying, on the community, on the, the city, the, world, the state, really. the country. 
you know, the world beyond, in, in, in Europe, all over. I know the ramifications because I've been there. I've walked in them shoes over in other countries and watched people sag and, you know, claiming sets that they ain't knew nothing about. And the only thing they knew about them was colors, because when I walked over there, they knew me. High top. <laughs> High top. <laughs> High top. I'm like, man. I said, <laughs> High top. Sagging. High top. I'm like, wow, y'all saw that movie? Colors, man. Colors. Couldn't even speak English well in Brazil. Mm. Colors. 